No one will give you a worthy identity, specifically the one they have stolen from you. And this worthy identity we are talking about is of our own achievement. This is the greatest ruler ever to walk the earth, an African, Ramasese II. So today we want to go on a journey in which we show a number of achievements that our ancestors achieved. At the times we do not need to worry a lot about a number of things, but what we need is to know that most of the time evidence is right in our faces. We owe it to ourselves to understand and to come to the grasp of knowing our identity. And this is part of our rich ancient identity that we must absorb. There it is. The evidence is right in our faces. Who are these people? Do you have to go to university to read uh, journals or become an Egyptologist to look at this picture and then to understand what it is? This is Amra, Imra or Anubis. And this is our pharaoh. They have got protruding lips, thick lips, big nose. Sometimes the nose is knocked off. And the hairstyle is African. And the greatest thing that you can do is to get this African self-worthy from these pictures and this evidence that we're showing today. Because our self-worthy has been driven down to zero or right into infinity negative. Why? Because we have neglected to absorb who we are, where we have come from. So let us embark on a journey uh, of ancient Egypt to the end of the king, old kingdom and to find pictorial evidence of who we are and where we have come from and how people are losing it and some people are stealing our culture and getting a rich and richer every day. This is a giraffe and this is a caving beside the Nile River which is found in Upper Egypt which is southern uh, Nubia coming down to the southern uh, African and there is no other continent where giraffes are found. So our ancient ancestors were already engaged in pictograms and again there is the mother a pre-dynastic female figure most commonly representing ancient goddesses and when you look at that you should never have any doubts that you are looking at the african goddess our mothers our sisters have lost it they no longer love to look like that they have changed themselves and they have changed their structure there is how we buried our ancestors and the many would come and point out to the curly hair not knowing that hair will always come to that structure in death again there are our images the images the palette illustrating typically long-necked mythical creatures let's not call them mythical anymore they are giraffes that's straightforward and no one should doubt that we have shown the giraffe again uh, our ancestors caved we can see them there they are africans and these are african animals you can see the elephants you can see the hunters, you can see the Basanje dog, which is an African dog. The pottery that our ancestors could make. And again, the same palettes with African animals. And there is our scholar, our scribe in ancient times. And again, we're showing here an instrument, inscribed star sighting instrument made from a dart palm rib. And that instrument was used to map the skies and to name the sky stars and to know them. A group of copper vessels on an offering table are of E.D. in Abydos, 2300 before common era. Our ancestors were already advanced in spirituality. Show many of their architectural compartmentalized box. And there is the Basanji dog that I spoke about, hunting game. And this animal which has been captured is called Membre, still found in Southern Africa today. Again, the small ivory statues of Abydos king. They say a non pharaoh, striding forward in, in a ritual, a uh, herb said, or jubilee ceremonies. He wears the tall white crown and clock patterned with the lozenges wrapped around him. He is an African, not a European or an Asian or an Arab. There is Imutepo, the first doctor, the man who introduced medicine to the world. And there is a reconstruction of the superstructure of the royal tomb at Saqqara or Saqqara. is the terminus or grid wall of the step pyramid. And again, there is the step pyramid that Imutepo designed. Again, we show you there is the step pyramid that Imutepo designed. And there is our pharaoh, a statue of the deceased. Our pharaoh Shose, the nose was chopped off destroyed the face mutilated by those that do not belong 
to these people, to our ancient ancestors. This is the structure which every home should have, a representation of the entry into the heavens, into the sky. Nearly every ritual building will have this vast complex with the blue shaped with all the jedi, the energy pillars, and the entry doors, and the blue interspaced with various symbols. This is how you could resurrect and attain more power. These are the pyramids, stepped pyramid at Dashure. These are the structures of the pyramid in mathematical representation. There is the Great Pyramid of Giza, so-called Pyramid of Giza, the largest only standing ancient wonder. Again, we show the pillars that build it. And there is the evidence of who were the ancient Egyptians, the Great Hore Maguti, so-called Sphinx. At the background is the pyramid. And this is a woman's face, a negroid face. And these are the wooden poles and structures of Queen Heteferes traveling canopy. These are gold, made of gold, thin sheets of gold. And they had a covering around them, a mosquito net cover, covered them. Again, the restored carrying chair of Queen Heteferes. The wooden parts are modern, uh, but the gold decorations are original. It's original. And again, we show here a reconstruction painting of the pyramid field at Abushure. Straightforward, clear African wisdom, African wonders. The Vizia of Tahotep, uh, and this is one of the wooden reliefs of Hesure, the first dentist. And again, these are African, these original, these are right on the walls. These are right on the walls, not yet played with. Again, we show here found in the Great Pyramid of Sahara, the head of Wasekaf. Dynasty 5 is a unique example of colossal structure, sculpture in the Old Kingdom. The broad nose, the thick lips, the dolicephatic chin does not tell us that this is a European, but this is a proper Africoid. Last but not least, here is the pharaoh after whom the desert is named. The only fragment that survived of a pharaoh whom they want to call Sahure, a lie. His proper name is Sahara. That's his wife. And there it is him, Sahara. Pharaoh Sahara. And the scribe we have there. Also, we have the scribe there. Last but not least, this is a scribe, a full wooden scribe of Meteti. That's the scribe Meteti. So, this is our ancestry. This is what Africa can do. You can claim this African self-worth. It can rebuild your knowledge and your self-worth. This is true knowledge, pictorial evidence, proof. You owe it to yourself and to your life and to your descendants to fulfill or reconnection to the memory of these ancestors. A number of achievements that our ancestors achieved and managed to put across on earth Islam will not tell you this. Christianity will never tell you this. Judaism will never tell you this. They will tell you that you are a slave, that you have achieved nothing. They will steal your culture and throw you into the dungeon of slavery and enslavement. The achievement that our ancestors achieved was that they built structures that are still standing. Yet we know that Solomon's temple is in rubble. It's nowhere to be found. Babylon is nowhere to be found. Only that which our ancestors built still survives. There is the image of our ancestors, modern ones, and this is the ancient traditional pyramid with a limestone here and all the structures. It took mathematics, science, organization, leadership, and many, many other styles to build and achieve such a great wonder that has mesmerized uh, everybody today. Subscribe to our channel, Hamidi Buru Ethics. This is Prestige Rabbi, Ellen Dumizulu. Let us walk, let us reconnect, let us live. Thank you.